Hey, what's up, guys? I want to try to explain something to you, and hopefully it helps. But you, the quicker you guys understand this, the better off you'll be. Now, if you notice here on the first floor, room 102 is RBC, who is Citadel, or Citadel backed. And then second floor in 201, you got Morgan Stanley. If you think for one single minute that these people, just because they're on opposing sides of a play, that they're not on the exact same team and they can't walk down the hall and cut deals with one another, you're mistaken. So when we tell you to be safe, there's a reason we tell you to be safe. Why? Because these motherfuckers, regardless of which side they're on, are planning to do you dirty in any way, shape, or form that they can. <laughs> Kick this car on here real quick. We got some good tunes too. Let's kick that up for a minute. Yeah. Alright, we gotta turn that shit down. I'm on video. Shoe two. Yeah, Yankee Tango. You two. Got you. So RBC, they're cold calling the fuck out of investors. They're trying to get that money post close. But Morgan Stanley, and there's another institution, another firm, in the next building over. This is right here, right near where I live. Been contacted by multiple firms trying to get into that cheddar, trying to make that contact and that relationship post closing of that position. Why? Because they want that money back. They're gonna lie to you. They're gonna tell you whatever they can. They're gonna cup the balls. Whatever they gotta do to get you to put your money down with them. They're gonna get you floor seats to the Lakers. Fuck the Lakers. Fuck the NBA. But that's for different reasons. LA Kings, baby. LA Kings. There it is right there. It's game, it's game day, it's game day. Five in a row, we're going for six. Those of y'all that follow hockey, we're coming up on playoffs. So I'm gonna turn that back around so y'all can see my face. And it's, it's bright outside, but I can take those off now too, so. Understand that in your guys' cities, you guys are gonna have the financial sectors just like this one. You wanna do some homework? Go take a look. Look up some of these, some of these firms. Look up their offices in your area and then take a fucking drive go down there and look and see how close these other institutions are to them literally fucking 40 yards from each other one door a staircase up another door i thought about going in there and starting some shit but mm, i might get accused of getting a paycheck from freaking more from morgan it, it could happen. I'm just saying. I'm still waiting for the FedEx guy. Hey, Diamond, where's your boy? Holler at me. Come on now. That's a lot of money you owe me. If we're on a we're on a payroll, I'm I'm gonna need some I'm gonna need some glass seats for the Kings game. Maybe even season tickets. I think you could set that up. Shit talking aside, protect yourself. Know the game. It's savage. I just showed you the savageness. When it comes to cutting a deal, they walk out the door down the hall, up the stairs, into another office and sit down in someone's office in the privacy of there ain't no fucking record of that conversation and they fucking cut a deal. Pucker up your butthole a little bit. 
that shouldn't scare you, but it should make you aware that the fuckery is real in this play. We hold all the cards and we have all the strength. Why? Look at our size, sheer size. You motherfuckers want to argue about 500K, 100K in price action and create division on the retail investor side when that's fucking happening. Remember the years, the lubrication? Pull your fucking head out of your ass if you're creating fucking drama on social media with other retail investors. Stop. Unfuck yourself. Take the dick out of your throat and realize what I just showed you was these dudes are, uni are united. Why aren't we? Why is there hate and discontent? Don't bring that shit. Don't bring that shit. From this fucking point forward, if you bring hate and discontent from the retail side to the retail side, you are fucking getting a paycheck. You are getting fucking fringe benefits from someone on the other side. Because if you can see that, the closeness they have in the operations of their business, and not understand they're united and we need to be too, regardless of our difference of opinion or difference of price sell points and when we're gonna close, you're a fucking sellout and you're on someone's payroll. I don't care, you can take all the money you want. You wanna work for Citadel, fucking Morgan, whatever institution, work for them, do their bids. I'm not gonna do shit about it, I don't give a fuck. What I will tell you is over a very long career, because I'm not a young fucking spring chicken, a very long career, I have seen the fucking 18 wheel fucking karma bus. And the shit that you're doing right now because you're young and you're a pup, I've got sons as old as most of you motherfuckers. You will get hit by that karma bus and it will not be fucking pretty. Some of y'all will string up a belt in a closet. Some of y'all will wash your mouth out with buckshot. Some of y'all will drink or fucking put drugs in your system and kill yourselves that way. I don't want to see that happen. Stop. The karma is not fucking worth it. The paycheck is not worth it. Would you fucking whore out your daughter, your wife, your mother for cash? Some of you might. Hey, hey, that's on you. But me personally, you have to draw a line in the sand somewhere where you make the determination, hey, my virtue my morals and my integrity aren't worth that fucking paycheck. Why? Because there's those of us in my small circle that have passed on hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in compensation packages to fucking bring you guys to them on a platter. Question everything believe nothing you hear and half of what you see you think I'm full of shit in the not so distant future you will have an opportunity when you're laying in bed to go that fucking dude was right he was legit what side do you want to be on you want to be on the side that made some money? They're still making money? You want to be on the side that's fucking putting in for food stamps, WIC, welfare, unemployment. Choice is yours, folks. But I needed to show you that today. I was down in the neighborhood. I had to stop by one of my local favorite businesses and pick up some, some freaking e-liquid. I got some Sunday morning from Desert Vapors. Um, the owners are very, very good friends of mine. They're family. They have been for eight, nine years now. Um, so I had to stop in to see Vic. Russell wasn't there, but uh, supports the local businesses where you can stay away from the big box stores. If, if you can buy it somewhere else, buy it somewhere else from a small business. Small businesses are what's going to get us through the supply chain crisis and all this bullshit going forward. If we do not support them, they will be gone and then you'll end up stuck with your fucking Walmart, Target, so on and so forth. And those motherfuckers, it's a matter of time before they're not going to be able to get anything either so i hope y'all are having a glorious monday i'm gonna head back to the house it's time for me to go balls deep in a pillow little siesta i am getting kind of hungry though too so uh, i will catch y'all next time mr Alex spaghetti checking out